Diego Ulisi is on top, winner of stage four at the 2023 Tour of Oman, 200 kilometer stage here to Yiti Hills, a beautiful area along the coastline in Oman, in the Middle East, and a place to visit and a place to lounge on the beaches. But let's not talk about that because we gotta talk about the bike racing. We had four men break away early on in today's stage. After multiple attacks, four men finally got free and they held two, two and a half minutes, a minute for so long. And then at 10 kilometers to go, they were caught. Team Astana had a plan in mind with Lusenko himself, a two-time overall winner in this race, the Tour of Oman. He went on the attack, pushed it hard, and that forced others, including GC leader in the red jersey, Matteo Jorgensen, to react. Also, Mari Van Sevenet and also Maxime Van Gils. Talking with Matteo Jorgensen afterwards, he said that Lusenko truly tested him with that attack. But Matteo was showing why he's only 23 years old and he marked it, marked it well, and then everything came back together. And then you saw that blast from behind, UAE team jersey. And who was it? Pascal Ackerman, a sprinter out on the attack. We had two more climbs to go, two more hard, punchy, small climbs, but hard and punchy, and Pascal Ackerman was free. He topped the second last climb with five kilometers to go, still holding off the chasing bunch behind, and then down into the valley, caught at the base of the final climb. Now that was important because back behind, that allowed Diego Lisi, the eventual stage winner, to set up for the final kick to the line and a green jersey leapt out of the peloton. That was the team of Kern, Pharma, and the Spaniard Kobo going for the victory, but behind, Kofidi was driving the pace, working for Alex Zingla, pushing all the way up to the finish line here, and then off on the left, we see a surge, a blue jersey from Sudal Quickstep. That was Yori Wallop getting the early kick off on the right-hand side in the Bohr Hansgrohe jersey, the green jersey was Ile Schilling pushing for the line. Diego Olisi was right there, tucked into the middle, coming up off to the right to take the sprint victory. And it was Axel Zengel second and Schilling third on the stage. Ulisi celebrated with the stage win. He gained bonus seconds and now sits five seconds behind in the overall, the red leader's jersey of Matteo Jorgensen. Heading into the final day, Mari Van Savinet sets third overall in the final day. Well, it's gonna be a firecracker. We end with the queen stage up Green Mountain, a much longer climb that's gonna put Matteo Jorgensen to the test. Yesterday, he won his first ever professional victory and now he's going to go for the overall classification of the 2023 Turbo Mon.